，先换个门，换个。太挂了。准备好，我摇过来你就开始啊。好，你说。三、二、一、零，开始。Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the program of Xinhua Global Life. Today in Shanghai, Beijing, Berlin, New York, and Mexico. This is Xu Xiaoqing speaking in Shanghai, and、uh, welcome my colleagues Yu Yu and、uh, Wu Xia. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. We soon will take you to one of the best and the newest destination in Shanghai, which we call it W E M. W means world, E means expo, and M means museum. And now we are standing at where the expo 2010, which was successful, successfully holding, and when it come to. A new building, what a magnificent architecture! The only one we we thought it an exhibition center, also a center of the of for the training and the education and the promotion. Now, someone said that is an. Now someone says that is an air container. We can put more memories and. The, Magnificent events of the expo into it, and someone asked me why we began our tour today. Maybe you can guess. And bingo! Today is the International Museum Day, and all of us are from the International Museum Day is even since 1977. And now let us begin our tour. In the morning in Beijing, we had already saw the ancient architecture in in, in the Beijing Museum and also the、um, Paleological Zoological Museum. And now, let us begin to see some modern. Okay, thanks, Xiao Xiaojing. Hello, everyone. I'm Candy from Xinhua News Agency. And yes, as my colleague Xiao Ting has told you, that we're now at Shanghai World Expo Museum. It is the only expo-themed museum in the world that belongs to the BIE. So let's begin our adventure at this museum. Let's go. And this is the first hall of the museum. Okay. Here is the. We know that the first World Expo was held in 1851 in London, United Kingdom, and the Crystal Pavilion here. This is the model of the Crystal Pavilion. The Crystal Pavilion is the main pavilion of that expo, and、uh, it covers with 300,000 pieces of glasses. And the Crystal pa Palace was not only the main pavilion of the 1851 Great Exhibition, but also the most successful exhibition at the expo, and regarded as the symbol of the Great Exhibition. And you can see that this model it is at a Scale of one to one hundred. Okay, the expo story begins from London in 1851, and four years later, in the 1855, the patent passed to Paris. Okay, let's move on to the next one. And we are now at the Shanghai World Expo Museum. You are now watching the live, the Xinhua Live program on the International Museum Day. Here is, here is a one of the exhibition you should not miss in the, in this museum. Here is a model of the Hall of Machines, 
At the 1851 Great Exhibition in London, the Hoff machines filled with numerous steam engines occupied a large section of the Crystal Palace. While the importance of machines was, for, uh, was further highlighted at the 1855 Paris Expo, where they were displayed in a huge 1,000 meters long gallery. Okay, so let's move to the exhibition besides it. I want to tell you something more about the Paris and the Expos. Here is the holographic theater of the Paris. You can have a look. And uh, it is about how the Paris, the city, was transformed by six exports dating back from 1855 to 1937. How the city was transformed because of the expo. And very interesting, it used Mr. Avril to act as a host. You can see on, on the screen. Avril to act as a host to tell you to tell you a little bit about interesting story of the city and the dramatic actions with the expos. It is about the city transformed by six expos dating back from 1855 to 1937. Paris, 1855. You can see that it's time passing by. The landmark buildings were built in Paris. Here's a bird view of Paris, the city. You can say that the city was transferred because of the expo, by the urban planning, by the landmark building, by the architecture breakthroughs, by the artistic exchange program, and also how it was transformed. It helped the city of the Paris to an artistic center in the world, or tourist attractions in the world at the same time. Okay. Huh? Okay. If you have opportunity, you can come to the Shanghai World Expo Museum yourself to see this holographic theater. And the, the the film is about eight minutes. So let's move, let's move to the next hall. Okay. Oh, sorry. I, I I noticed that there are some equipment on the walls. So what what's their functions? Okay, so here is a. Uh, let me see. Okay, uh, you can so the earphone. You can heard some yeah. music. Yes, I okay. think. So this is some words from yeah. the previous expo, right? Yes. And uh, when we are upstairs, you you will not miss that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven posters of the expos. 
Okay, where is? From uh, the 19th century expo. Yes, it is a post about the World Expo. Especially, you can see this one, Paris, 1889. Okay, now we move to the next hall. This is uh, uh, titled with Moving with Progress. Let's see what's in it. Okay, here is a, here is a exhibition. I, I think it will attract a lot of kids and a lot of young people. Because here are here are thirty groups groups of exhibits. They all of them are printed by 3D materials. And I think, especially for the kids, they will be very much attracted by these 30 groups of exhibits, which were printed out by 3D materials. And you will find that all of them are very common in our daily life. Here we have electricity, telegraphy, and this is printing, telegraphy, and also here, this one. Can we have a close look at uh, this one? This is sex phone, which is this green sex phone. Okay. Here's a green sex phone. And uh, the sex phone in invented the wo won the gold medal at the expo. So all of these 30 groups of models they all of them were first pub publicized at the expo. Why they choose expo to make their first publication? And the reason is that at that time, only expo could attract millions of people or even tens of millions of people. And uh, expo becomes a perfect and wonderful platform for the latest technology the latest development and also the latest innovative ideas. And uh, you can, here's a telephone, have the first washing machine and different kinds of airplanes. And through this kind of way, people, especially the young people, will attract it. And they will understand that Expo is not far from us, Expo is in our daily life, Expo is with us. So they will understand what is the meaning of everything begins with Expo. This is an interactive and educational way to tell, you, to tell them, especially the young people, to remember and promote those Expo legacies and also to strive to create and innovate, inno to create more. So, okay, we continue our adventure to Shanghai World Expo Museum. And the next is the third hall, yes. yes. Um, and I find that maybe the, um, uh, the uh, World uh, Ex Expo Museum is a good place for kids to learn some knowledges, right? Yes, and I think through this kind of interactive and educational way, people, especially the young kids, they will understand that Expo is not far from us. It's in our daily life and uh, they will understand yes the expo begins with everything begins with expo they will understand more about it so let's move to the another okay. hole okay let's go okay here also you can see a lot of posters upstairs I wonder such a wonderful museum cost how much if I want to buy a ticket to enter this museum, do you know? Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing thing because the tickets is totally free 
for to the public yeah, if you get the registration um, before you go to the museum so you can get the entrance uh, it's all totally free so it's just uh, good news for all the people if you live in Shanghai and you can if you have time please come to here to have a visit of the Shanghai World Expo Museum Okay, here. Now we are in the second exhibition area of exhibition hall number three. This area titled A uh, Glimpse of Future highlights the future during this period between the, eight, the 1947 and the 1965. And the, now you can see a huge auto, atomic, atomic model, Ottoman. And it is standing 102 meters tall and 2,200 tons in weight and regarded as the landmark building. And we know that today is the International Museum Day. The day is celebrated every year all around the May 18th, ever since 1977. And so this year, the International Museum Day has entered its fourth decade. So maybe that's why there are so many visitors here, because it's a day for the museum, and it's very a newly open museum, right? Yes, uh, we heard that the museum uh, of the Shanghai World Expo Museum has opened just uh, two weeks ago, yes. And here we entered uh, the fourth hall, and the name is uh, World of Challenges. I found that there are different kinds of expo, yes. We have the specialized expo, and uh, we have the world expo, and here we have the... Can you tell us what this this is a uh, for Japanese style? Yes. 
Yeah, for its outlook and its color, it's red and white, so we can see it's a uh, uh, Japanese uh, art, art, art of piece. And it's, uh, it's from the 1970s Osaka's Expo. Uh, inside the tower, the trees of the live art was exhibited in the uh, center of the ground floor, together with many other miniatures and objects suspended from the tree created by uh, the Tubulaya pro Productions. The tower represented the strength of the heading into the future. So we found a very cute kit. He is also uh, visit uh, our Shanghai World Expo Museum with with her, with his parents. So during the expo, you will not only see some latest technology or the latest development, you can, they are also some very good art, culture, performance, and also the artistic exchanges. So expos are the perfect stage to showcase culture and the culture's placing creativity, education and entertainment at the heart of a vast culture program. Unique performance shows, paradise music, concerts, dance and other culture ex expressions make the expos the optimal to display and appreciate the world's cultural wealth and uh, diversity. And do you want to know more about uh, the World Expo? Do you want to know more about Shanghai World, World Expo Museum? And do you want to know more about the 2010 Shanghai World Expo? Please follow my colleague, Yoyo. -Yo. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is Yoyo -Yo from Xinhua. And welcome to join us at the um, Xinhua Global Live on the International Museum Day, and we are now at the uh, Museum Expo, World Museum Expo, World Expo Museum in Shanghai, and also we will give you another tour in the um, different countries, uh, like the uh, Moscow, Berlin, and New York. Um, so as we enter in, in the um, Hall Five, we can see the posters from the Shanghai World Expo. There were several, uh, several sort of them uh, bring us the memory of the Expo Shanghai in 2010. Actually, uh, as I'm a reporter, I once interviewed uh, and had uh, many times to interview in the Shanghai World Expo. It's really a splendid, magnific magnificent event, um, and it brings many people good memories. So this all, there are all the um, posters for the Shanghai World Expo. Now there are some facts figures. Firstly, I will give you about the Shanghai Expo. The duration for of the uh, Shanghai World Expo is from May the first, twenty to October third, thirty one, uh, and the visitors are more than seventy three million people. 
Now you are uh, see the different style of the Hai Bao. The little cute blue guy is the mascot of the Shanghai World Expo. It has become the very popular icon of uh, the Shanghai World Expo, which make people related with the uh, water, the blue, the environment, and it has very cute outlook. Now, as we enter the Hall Five, uh, it uh, constitutes a very big, a very big uh, sand table model of the site of the World Expo Shanghai. Yeah, you can see uh, it's separated in Pudong and Puxi, and over there is just the um, Chinese pavilion in red. Uh, the um, in the Shanghai World Expo ha uh, has more than six kilometers square kilometers, and uh, it has divided into uh, six different areas uh, from different regions, different countries, pavilions. In 2010, there were 246 countries and international organizations, including 190 countries, 56 international organizations, 80 urban best practices areas, pavilions, and 18 corporation pavilions. And now, here's the huge screens of the three different movies uh, with the dazzling uh, version and the energetic music, we can feel, really feel a real tool like in the World Expo 2010. The main melody of the music is to World Expo and the to the new world. Okay, and Shanghai, the successful of the Shanghai uh, Expo, World Expo is not only the successful to Shanghai, but also it's a successful event for China and uh, even the whole world. So we have now entering the Hall 6, which contains a very huge collections of the precious objects and goods donated by different pavilions during the uh, Shanghai World Expo. You know, uh, Shanghai World Expo has fully demonstrated the, the best practices of the rural and urban of developments uh, and explore the more possibilities of exchanges development of the urban and for the countries. Now you can see the different uh, the air handicraft and the art of piece of art from different countries. Uh, like uh, this one is a tree from the uh, Korean. It's donated by the Korean Trade and Investment Promotion Corporation. And the formula of this hall is just like um, uh, the different zones in the uh, Shanghai World Expo. Like they have A, B, C, D, E. Different uh, zones represents different countries uh, from different regions and continents. Now we just take a close look of the different pieces. Um, this one is donated by the Hungary Pavilion. It's uh, it's it's different. It's donated by the Hungary Public Administration and Justice Ministry. And this, this one is donated by the uh, Expo 2010 Shanghai Berlin Pavilion.
This one is donated by the Expo 2010 Shanghai Gambia Pavilion. The hall contains different booths, reappearing the sixth exhibition zone in Expo Shanghai. The pavilions and exhibits are harmoniously arranged, and all that we can see are the audio, and we can listen to the music. Repeatedly plays the pictures and images of the Expo Shanghai, which brings the visitors like、uh, they, they have the tour around the Shanghai Expo again. Uh, this one is donated by the Denmark Pavilion. It is、uh, a green energy bicycle. This one is donated by the Expo Shanghai Ethiopia Pavilion. The red drum is donated by、uh, Expo Shanghai Trinidad and Tobago Pavilion. Now we can see that each piece has its different style and has culture background. And Shanghai World Expo really is a platform for different culture people coming with each other, and this is a base for further cooperation and for the prosperity of the whole human race. When you see the rich varieties of structures of the different arts,、um, you can taste different culture and to understand different culture much better. This dandelion is very、uh, renowned and very popular.、Uh, dandelion dancing in the breeze is from the UK Pavilion. It's that it looks very special. And during the Shanghai World Expo 2010, different countries have its different outlook of the pavilion. Like the Canadian pavilion in the shape of maple leaf, and the Saudi pavilion is looking like a sailing treasure boat. So they all speak to the best of human ingenuity. Now let's look at the a very a special cute car. This is a concept car, Leaf, was donated by the SICGM Pavilion. Leaf is the technology of natural energy conversion to electric power. The four wheels capture the wind energy, turn it into electric energy, and store it into the battery. This car maximizes development and use of new technology sources. It's a car of the future. In the hall, they set the、um, inquiry system for the visitors to check different, to check the different information of the different pavilion. Now we enter the、uh, UBRA zone.、Um, over there, we saw the four houses. It's it's a masterpiece. It's a renowned piece called the Bremen Town Musician. This is the fourth house.、Uh, it's called the Bremen Time Musician Sculpture. 
Uh, it stands a Cooper sculpture created by the renowned German artist、uh, Gerhard Marx in 1951. The sculpt- sculpture of four musicians in Bremen case of Expo 2010, Shanghai, China, is a one-to-one replica of the original. So now this is、uh, donated by the、um, Shanghai,、uh, the Kiribati Pavilion. It's a、uh, handicraft made by maybe bamboo or wooden. In the expo, in in the、uh, World Expo Museum, you can feel the very energetic music, the dazzling vision.、Um, it really brings you back to the very joyful moment of the Shanghai Expo. You can taste the different culture from different countries,、um, different regions, and to know、uh, to know others' culture. This is a piece. Uh, from the Solomon Island Durkar Dictator Status. And this instrument is from Expo 2010 Shanghai Indonesia Pavilion. Maybe it's a very、uh, traditional Indonesia instrument. So we can f- we can find different styles、uh, of the、um, pieces. Some are very modern, some are concept, and some are just the traditional. Okay, Candy. I remember that、uh, you also have interviewed and had many times to go to the Shanghai World Expo, right?、Uh, yes, I remember that seven years ago,、um, in the twenty ten Shanghai World Expo, it is my second year to become a journalist. And、uh, so when I enter this hall,、uh, see a lot of、uh, exhibition, I will. I'm so excited, and、uh, a lot. The Shanghai World Expo Museum refresh me a lot of memories about when I、um, have interview at the 2010 Shanghai World Expo. And I remember that at that time there are a lot of volunteers. They were helpers、uh, in the media center or in the different、uh, department of the Shanghai World Expo. And、uh, it is the five months from the May the first、uh, to the to the at、uh, the at end of the October. So it is a very large space. So we also work there. It is a very
Yeah, the、um, World Expo Museum. They pick up just very classic and very special collections for people to have、uh, another tour, like to the Shanghai World Expo, right? And、um, what's your favorite piece when you have the visit the Shanghai Expo? So I think、uh, I like the UK UK Pavilion very much, and maybe we can have a look at here. Okay. Uh, as you has introduced this, the UK pavilion to all of our, to our audience, the Expo 2010 Shanghai UK Pavilion, and you will find that here is a seed temple. Yeah, my favorite one is the Denmark Pavilion. It has a very little. A very little moment in the center of the whole architecture, which、uh, seems very magic and very romantic. Now we have a glance of the whole six, which has a very huge collections of all the pieces from the Shanghai World Shanghai Expo. And、um, now,、uh, what, how about let's us、uh, go to another hall, the Hall Seven. Actually, personally,、uh, it's my favorite hall because it has、um, many pieces of, of artwork from different regions from in China. And. On the walls, we can see there are paintings from kids. Yeah,、um, cute, cute paintings. Yes, I think they are from the 2010 Shanghai World Expo. They moved here. Is that true?、Uh, yeah. Haibao here. A very. Yeah, this is Haibao. Haibao has become become a very popular icon among kids and among adults. And the kids is painting. I think it's. They are all reflect their、uh, vision for the future and for their beautiful life.、Okay. Now we enter、uh, the hall seven, which is called Chinese Wisdom. This hall includes physical exhibits and large multimedia exhibition items. It will give you another great tool of Expo Shanghai: collect memories through interaction and reappear the wonderful and unforgettable moments in the 184 days of Expo 2010 Shanghai. Now let's have a close look at all these、um, pieces. This is the Chinese pavilion model. Themed on Oriental crowns, blended China, ample barn, rich people. The pavilion tries to reveal an ideal that is deep rooted in Chinese culture, consisting of the footprint, the dialogue, and the vision sections. The pavilion aims to encourage visitors to discover and comprehend the Chinese wisdom in revolution of cities. And this is the big screen with the multimedia, the very films to、um, show people how the colorful expo, how the modern cities look like. This is our different、um, pavilions from different regions in China. Okay, here is the. Collection. This is a collection、uh, from the、um, the pavilions donated by the pavilions of different regions in China. I found this is very interesting. It's、uh, called the Great Wall Bricks. It's from the Hebei Province when they、um, when they at the Shanghai Expo. This is a brick from the Great Wall.
And also we can see this is one also from Hebei. It's called the inside painting. You know, the artists, they um, paint inside of the bottle. Oh, this is a uh, ceramic calligraphy from Henan province. They are all uh, traditional pieces of the Chinese culture. This one is from uh, Ningxia. It is made by silver. And we have a very modern system and for people and the visitors to get more information about different sections of the museum. So now we are uh, watching the core collection of the whole museum. This is multimedia, the big screen. It has um, three uh, movies, which stages the ancient time of Chinese people and the future of uh, the world and a colorful expo. We can see many visitors are waiting for the movies coming. These VCRs replayed again and again, and they are um, some memories, some um, events, activities during the Shanghai World Expo. This is the figure of the Chinese pavilion. The Shanghai World Expo really leaves people around the world very, very uh, wonderful memories. And there are some souvenirs some fans from uh, Shanghai World Expo, they're all the volunteers used during the, the event. Now, here comes the most exciting moment. It calls um, the Riverside Saying. There are the VCRs of the Expo Shanghai. You can see the, each pavilion has each style. Okay, now let's see the magic piece of the riverside of Qingming Festival. Actually, the original is a painting by uh, Zhang Zeduan, is the Song Dynasty um, painters. And now, we, uh, by, through, by using the uh, new technology, it becomes a, a multimedia piece of work.
This is a very interesting painting, you know, just like the uh, riverside scene of the Qingming Festival. Um, it's used the traditional style, but it depicts a really um, new picture, new sign of the Shanghai Huangpu River. We can see the pavilions of the Shanghai World Expo here. Like the Mercedes um, Art Center, like the Chinese Pavilion. And we can see the ships and the cargoes on the river. Okay. Now, the green and white uniform is uh, wearing by the volunteers in Shanghai World Expo. There were more than 1,000 of the volunteers in the Shanghai World Expo. Uh, they do contribute a lot to the successful event. And we call it the little garbage because its color is white with green. It looks like very uh, like the vegetable and very cute. This is the bottles they are used. So the successful uh, of the uh, Shanghai World Expo needs everybody's efforts. Many people um, now they uh, recall the Shanghai World Expo as very wonderful memory in their life. This is chair used by the volunteers because uh, they are keep very busy working, very hard working. This is for them to have a rest during their job in the um, Shanghai World Expo. Okay, now let's look down to the counter. In it, there were the pins and badges of different pavilions, um, different countries. They are very colorful. And they also bring us to, bring back us to the Shanghai World Expo 2010. Okay, the Shanghai World Expo is a platform for different people to communicate with each other and uh, uh, let people to further cooperation with each other. Actually, the spirit of... Okay, now we can see the visitors. Uh, they are watching on the chair to... Um, waiting for the movies. Okay, this is uh, the magic piece of the um, Saxing River of Qingming Festival. The, origi or the original work of this is by Zhang Ziduan, a uh, Song Dynasty um, painter. It's called the China's Mona Lisa. In its land, there are 814 humans, 28 boats, 60 animals, 30 buildings, 20 vehicles, um, and more than 100 trees. Uh, on this multimedia uh, film, we can see the throwing by the new technology. Everything becomes dynamic and it's like a cartoon movie. And it combines with the traditional um, art of work uh, with the new technology to present people a uh, new, new picture of how the ancient times This movie captures the daily life of people and the landscape of the capital, Beijing. Today's Kaifeng from now Song 
period, this film reveals the lifestyles of all levels of the society from rich to poor, as well as different e economic activities in the ancient time. We can see the businessmen, we can see the horses, um, and they are doing business with people from other area. So from this movie, we can... Now, there, there comes a male, a group. You know, uh, China just held the One Belt, One Road Forum last week. Um, the uh, One Belt, One Road uh, initiative proposed by China aims at the um, all-wing all -wing results. Um, in ancient time, we have the um, Silk Road, and from this movie, we can see the doing business with other regions, um, and uh, economic changes have the long history. So the spirit of um, spirit of the um, expo is really match the spirit of the One Belt One Road. We can see some people's are uh, uh, the restaurants of the Asian time um, and the um, rivers along the side. This picture caps the daily life of people um, whenever they are poor, they're rich, and what's the occupation? They tell us how the Asian Chinese people. The movie just reminds us of the Belt and Road Initiative um, proposed by China. The spirit of the Silk Road, like the um, cooperation with each other, is really matches the spirit of the Belt and Road Initiative. Okay, this is called the Expo Axis of the Shanghai uh, World Expo. It's donated by the Bureau of Shanghai Expo Coordination. This is the um, uh, small model of the Expo Center. It locates in the Expo Avenue. And this one is the um, Expo Culture Center. It looks like uh, a UFO in shape. This is the theme pavilion uh, for the Shanghai World Expo 2010. They have five theme pavilions, namely urbanization, city being, urban planet, footprint, and future. Okay. Now uh, we have uh, we have entered into the last hall, the hall eight. It's the hall to picture the future of the expo and our work. Okay. On the wall, we also can see the kids painting. They are very colorful. Um,
And now more and more visitors、uh, come to the World Expo Museum. Now here is my colleague Xiao Qing. She will give you a tour of the Hall Eight. Hello, you. you. Hello, everybody. When we move to the Hall Eight, it means we will have a beautiful future, and also、um, it means that we will have a happy ending in this Shanghai tour.、Um, um, let me see it. And、uh, there's some a tree and and about the the same of the 2010. Shanghai Expo is about the better city and better life, and now、uh, so many cities are、uh, talk about this topic. And some of the some of the visitors of,、uh, in this museum just now、uh, said to me that last week they focus on the um, um, Xinhua news、uh, news agency social media about the Belt and the Road Forum last week holding Beijing very successfully and. Now they went to Shanghai and visited the WEM, and not only the BRF,、uh, but also the WEM are the, are the great platforms for the, all the human beings. Contribute they can use it to have communications and、um, pu push to the culture and all the science and technology forward. And as we know,、um, in the next months. Um, Astana Kazakhstan will hold the next expo about the future energy, and so many other expo, expo world expo will hold at、uh, maybe in Dubai and、uh, and、uh, do you have some idea, same idea with me? Oh yes, and we know that、uh, when we be,、uh, enter into the last、uh, hall of the Shanghai World Expo Museum. The Shanghai World Expo Museum refers、uh, our memories about the past expos. And while every expo leads us to a new chapter of life, we believe that the forthcoming expo events will also bring us an even brighter future with more advanced technologies. More convenient ways of life and greater desire among all of us to live innovat innovatively and harmoniously. And as we know that next next month's Expo 2017 will be held in Astana, capital of the capital of the Central Asia country of. Kazakhstan and the world will once again find a place to join hands and learn from each other, and also share hands with each other. And we hope and we believe that the Expo 2017 will be a successful event. Okay, now let's take a look at the wall. This wall is called my wall. Why it is called the name? Because it is has the different、uh, the personality souvenirs from the Shanghai World Expo.、Um, we can see here some、uh, pamphlets during the Shanghai World Expo. There were some bags,、um, some flags, some tower,、uh, the different、uh, varieties of the goods from the Shanghai World Expo. It really brings brings us the good memory of、um, the Shanghai World Expo. See if the、uh, cook 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 boxes. Yeah. And according to、um, the museum, they said there were four thousand、uh, pictures and. The, and the、um, pamphlets and posters on this wall. And this 
in, in this museum, they have also some interactive equipment for you to use. Like if you um, you can send the pictures of the different pavilion on your mobile. Wait, 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 wait. Is the exhibit Wait, can you hear me? The exhibition, the exhibition. The Okay, let's finish, let's finish, let's finish.